Hey guys, right here, FA 2012, Peugeot 408 2.0. The 408 saloon lineup is basically a long wheelbase saloon version of the Peugeot 308 hatchback. And today, I'm gonna make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it, show you the features inside and out. So, Here's the key. Let's go ahead and start it up first. As you can see, the mirrors are currently folded out. If I lock the car, it will automatically fold in. And upon unlocking, it will fold out again. This car has 2,077 kilometers. Leather steering wheel with minor spot grips on the sides. This car comes with a 4-speed automatic transmission with Diptronic manual shifting via the plus and minus down there. Also, when you put the car in, rever in reverse, a parking sensor diagram will show up on the radio display. Alright, so let's go ahead and turn on the hazards. lights, front and rear fog lights, they are automatic lights and wipers on this car. All four windows are automatic. This car comes with indicators below the side mirrors. While the 17 inch rims are of a Rinjani design, with Continental Contimax Contact MC5 215-50 R17 tyres. The only external visual difference between this 408 2.0 as well as the higher priced 408 Turbo Sibling, apart from the rims, is a subtle 2.0 badging on the front doors. To open the bonnet, you actually have to get to the passenger side door and pull on this lever. Like I mentioned before, the 408 Saloon is actually based on the Peugeot 308 lineup. Hence, you see many similarities in the design department, such as the front headlights, side mirrors, the big mouth grille with the Peugeot badge all on its own, as well as the interior dashboard design. Together with the 408 Turbo, there's also a subtle use of chrome on the grille, as well as the front bumper. The 408 models from Malaysia, the 2.0 as well as the Turbo, comes loaded with kits such as automatic headlights and wipers, automatic power folding side mirrors, dual zone automatic climate control, um, 6 speaker audio system, cruise control, so on and so forth. However, the 408 2.0 only comes with two airbags versus the Turbo's 6. It doesn't have electronic stability program, anti-skid regulation, an auto dimming rear view mirror, aluminium pedals, a rear center armrest with two cup holders, leather seats, as well as a steering wheel in leather with aluminium inserts. This car comes with Peugeot's 2 liter EW10A Plus, dual overhead cam, 16 valve in line 4 with variable valve timing. The engine produces 145 horsepower at 6000 rpm and 200 newton meters of torque at 4,000 RPM. The car has an approximate top speed of 195 km an hour with a 0 to 100 km an hour time of 12.5 seconds. 
The car has a 60-litre fuel tank with a combined fuel consumption of 8.6 litres per 100 kilometres while having a carbon dioxide emissions rating of 204 grams per kilometre. The car is front-wheel drive. That's your rear fog light. Rear parking sensors. Storage area, speaker, window controls, like I said, all of them are automatic. Window lock, mirror controls. Your boot release, as well as your headlight level adjustment. For storage area down there. Peugeot door sills. And the driver's seat is fully manual. This is for your seat back, your seat height, and your seat position. You also have a small little storage hole right there. Alright. So let's go ahead and see how she revs. Right here, you have your dual zone automatic climate control system, fan speed, your different modes, um, recirculation, front and rear defrost. Mono means if you have it on, the driver's side will control both sides, but if you have it off, each side will have individual controls. Air conditioning, temperature for the driver's side, automatic mode, as well as temperature for the passenger side. You have your CD player right here with your, it is MP3 compatible with your six customizable stations below to change between your different modes. This one um, enables you to turn off the display to show only your outside temperature and radio information or to turn off the display completely. To change between your different source, FM, AM, your sound system settings and your um, system menu. While in the system menu, you use this up, down, left, right, OK buttons to um, scroll through the menus. First, your different modes. Shows your radio information, your onboard computer, your Bluetooth telephone menu, as well as just the um, 
day and date. Next up, you have your dark, which is like I said, your um, display on or off. Your FM AM. Your sound system settings. Your system menu. You can also configure your lights, signal, language, and whatnot through this menu. You, have, um, you can also adjust your brightness, date and time, and units. Your Bluetooth telephone menu. Folding mirrors, your wiper controls, light and indicator controls, cruise control, as well as your steering wheel, or rather, um, audio controls located behind the steering wheel. Button to release your fuel cap, your central locking button, as well as button to turn off your parking sensors. Storage area right beneath the radio head unit. Cup holders, small little storage hole. Power outlet or cigarette lighter, depending on what you use it for. Adjustable armrest. As well as a central storage with your USB port right there. Manual dimming, rear view mirror. Sunglass holder. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now and continue with the rest of the tour. Storage area, speaker, Peugeot door sills at the back as well, and the rear seats do fold, just pull on this lever. You do have storage pockets on the front seat backs, rear aircon vents, um, story, storage area. Hook.
You do have adjustable headrests, front and rear. Front passenger seat is manual as well. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2012 Peugeot 408 2.0. Thanks for watching and goodbye.